you know, sometimes you get something that you're like, that might be kind of fun, kind of fun, bring you back to the old school days. And today we got this. It's a biological microscope. I don't know if there's anything extra, extra cool about it. Like, can I hook my phone into it? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I will leave some information down below once I stumble on it. But I thought for today, this would be kind of cool to take out. And I'm just gonna try it out and see if I can uh, let you know what my thoughts are, I guess. Okay, so anyway, biological microscope. Uh, again, the description, I'll have a link to it so you guys, because uh, on the box it doesn't really say much about, I guess maybe it's from, maybe these guys, hold on. Focos, Focos, I don't know. That's the only kind of label or on it thing on it. Uh, I'm gonna put it this way. Name of product is biological microscope. Objective lenses has got a four times, a 10 times, and a 40 times. Uh, illumination, top and bottom LED lights. Uh, power supply is 100 to 240 volt or three AA batteries. So it is fully portable if you wanna bring it with you. 390 by 180 by 280 millimeters. Okay, not a, like I said, not a lot on the box. It's pretty, pretty gen. Oh, it comes in a case. It's pretty generic. I like that it comes in a case, and it's not crazy heavy. I don't know. Like I honestly have no idea what medical grade microscope, like what its zoom capable is, capabilities are. It's a nice case though. As far as cases go, it's. You know, you carry that into the boardroom, into the doctor's office, and be like, no, no, don't worry. I got my own microscope. I'll be checking out my own stool, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna move this over a little bit. But it's nicely padded, which is which is nice. It does come, they talk about needing batteries. It comes with batteries. So that's that's kind of nice. And it comes with a bunch of stuff. What is this? This looks like a kit of goodies. Look at that. For you as an adult or your kids, you know, I'm guessing this is where you put your stuff. You got some, I don't know, maybe, it's all in, it's all in kind of a different language, so I can't necessarily read it. Uh, it just says it's 21 by 32, I'm guessing, a medical gauze, there we go. These are gonna be your plates to put your your stuff in. You get, oh, I like to give you little tweezers, little scissors, very nice. You get whatever that is for doing, I have no idea, I have no idea. Oh, it's a little knife. So be, be, be careful if you're, you know, letting kids play with this because it has, has like a little exacto knife, little, Thing to put fluids in, another little one. It's got a ton of little stuff. You could be like a real scientist, probably not. But, you know, you're close, more for samples. That's got some purple, purple liquid in it. I'm hoping that they tell you what any of this stuff is. And it does have, it does have a picture of a camera on the front. Lens tissue, oh this is, okay, lens tissue. This must be for cleaning and a little a little swab thing for don't like swab your you could swab your nose but you probably shouldn't this all somehow goes back in here i don't know if this is the stand or if this is maybe something to put your phone on so your phone can i don't know if even you use it with a phone i have no idea all kinds of coolness and again this is a first look i'm not going to be going in there because let's let's be completely honest to start with i have no idea right i don't know what you're supposed to get for magnification. The fact is it says like it's 10 times, no, 40 times. I'm guessing like a medical grade one, you know, that the, the scientists use is gonna be way more than 40, would be my guess. Um, these are gonna be the different eyepieces. I kept that one out, but different eyepieces, depending. And I'm wondering if this is part of your magnification, you know, because it pulls it, it pulls it away. I don't, again, I don't know. More or less just showing you this, this for you fine folks. But everything fits in here snug, which is good. Let's uh, put that on the ground. You ready? I feel like I should have a coat. That, you guys can see it. That is it. 
you got this little tissue paper on here. Well, these must be the different sizes, right? The different zooms. So you're not gonna, you, you wanna make sure it's something tiny. S I don't know, snot, maybe something biological, right? This has a cap on it, which means, yes, you definitely, I think, need one of these. Because as of now, I don't think this functions. So it must be like that. Okay, and it's only seen black, which means this should be to just turn and it snaps into place. But it's got a good snap, you know? It's like... Okay, this is what's gonna hold the stuff in. My guess would be you'd wanna put it on a like a high one like this, possibly. This is your button here. Now, what I don't think it comes with, which is, seems, oh no it does. I was gonna be like, why? Why would they say you can plug it in and then not give you a plug? Because that, that wouldn't seem reasonable. I'm not gonna use the batteries. I'm gonna plug it in. Okay, so this is going here and an on off switch. Oh, there is. You guys may be able to see it. You may not be able to see it. There is, I don't know, there's a little light somewhere that's turning on. And this lifts for focus. Yes, the, oh, there it is. There's your light. See the little light on the bottom? So if you need some extra light on the subject, I do, I wanna just, I just wanna blow my nose into it. Anyways, and then this of course, you guys can see it, lift it up and down to get that into focus. I'm wondering if this is, this has got, this has got to be for your phone. Yes, it's gotta be for your phone. So that you stick your phone on here, right? And then your camera lenses, you just make sure you li line them up properly. I'm, I'm gonna try it. So, it's gotta, it's gotta, one of these has gotta be the one. There's, there's like that one, and then there's a smaller one. That also goes there. Maybe you put it that way, so that it just hangs there. More light is required. No, I'm with you. Oh, look, oh. Oh, do you see that? You may not see it, look. That's just dust. Check it out. Dust on here. More light is required, so I could, Maybe turn that up. And, and it could be just my phone can't necessarily focus on it, yes? So I'm wondering, this 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 thing right here has texture on it. Can I fit that in there? I don't, I'm putting it in there, ready? We're lowering you down. Okay, see, look, oh, look at that. That's actually pretty cool. And that's probably at the the least at least amount of zoom is my guess. Let's go. Let's let's go. I wish this little sticky thing was a little better. Let's go. Let's go bigger. Ready? Snap you on. Again, I just gotta kind of line you up. Find the spot somewhere in there, and you really again fine tune it. That's, that's in tight. That's in super tight. All right, let's go, let's, can we go one more? I don't know if we can go one more with this. I think it's too thick, it's too thick. Okay, let's try something else though. Let's try, let's try this paper. Yes, I'm trying the paper. Going in, going in tight. Right, right there. Now you gotta remember, I have this and it's not laying flat and it's not in one of those little, you know, guard things to keep it level. Cause when you're playing with, this would be like if I said, hey, look, I got a cool shot of the moon. Okay, that's that's pretty cool too. And then if we took this and went to craziness, yes, line this up again. Where are you? Oh, wait, you gotta really be tight, right, right there. Look at that. Yes, can I turn my light? The light's up all the way, so it does need a fair bit of light. And again, I think if it was under that, one of those little sheets, I'm gonna try, hold on. So if I took this, you know, and was just like, okay, hey, let's, let's, let's lift this like so, and then let's pull this fairly tight. 
So that's fairly tight on there, right? It's not perfectly tight, but it's definitely gonna be tighter because I have this on there. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find where this is right in that region. I'm not perfect, but you guys get the idea. And where are you? I'm going the wrong way, I think. Oh, it was right there. Okay, that is actually, you know, you're you're in there pretty tight for sure, like. Come on. Now again, I got my phone trying to hit focus, but I don't know if it's going to be able to do this. I think if I looked at it with my own eyes, my own eyes, not somebody else's eyes. Maybe if I did this, I'm curious. What if I went to like macro, the macro lens? No, it's just, it seems like it's more in focus, but it's still, I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to take a look. I want to take a look. Here we go. Not with this on. So I don't know. I think, cause this, I think you need, if you're not using your phone, maybe you use that one. Now you don't get a cool like diopter or anything like that in that aspect. It's there. It's there, like it's functioning. Still very cool. And if I went to, let's see, that one. Oh yeah, see that's, that's crazy crisp on that paper. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks crazy. Maybe this is, maybe you don't need to go a whole lot closer than this. I wish you guys saw this because the phone is not doing it justice for sure. And you, you can just kind of get it. Like that's, that's nice and in focus. Okay, that's kind of cool. And it's got a little handle. Yes, little handle. Anyways, uh, I'll put links down below. If you have, you know, maybe, maybe yourself or you have a kid that is into, into the science and they're like, I would like to look at things up close, more close, more, more closer than most of us would ever do. Just for instance, I'm going to put that on there. Because I'm curious. Oh, look. It's like there's little tiny crystals on it. It's so cool. It is it's it is pretty cool. Now, the one thing you just have to kind of be used to, too, and maybe it, it all depends on your eyes. Again, it's not a great diopter or anything like that. Not that I know of. So, finding focus inside here. You know, you got to kind of hover your eye out a little bit. But still... That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I kind of like that. Yeah, links down below if you guys are interested. You want to look up things ridiculously close or you have, you know, one of your kids or something like that. Or you know somebody that's like, I would like to see what a toothpick looks like up ridiculously close or it's not. Doesn't matter. You know, curiosity is excellent. Check it out. Maybe you'll see something that you will change your life. Maybe. All right, guys, uh, that's it. This is the fo focus, focus. It's like may, may, focus, maybe it's focus. Maybe they're just, it's spelled really weird, but it's just focus, maybe. All right, guys, links down below if you're interested. And uh, yeah, it's kind of neat. All right, guys, uh, I do I do wish that they had a little bit better, uh, like a diopter for focusing with your eyes. But other than that, everything else seems to work really good. Seems Seems pretty well built. Links down below, I'm out. Later.